Hello, welcome to a Physionic mini video. Today we're going to be answering the question of how does fiber help you poop? Get rid of that <laughs> Okay, uh, in a short, sweet, science-based video, we will answer that question. Let's get to it. You may or may not be aware of this already, but fiber comes in many different forms. As a matter of fact, it's probably better to look at fiber as kind of on a continuum. So it can be anywhere within a range. Uh, it's not just viscous fiber and non-viscous fiber or insoluble and soluble fiber. Everything is kind of on a continuum and that's especially true for something like fermentation. Uh, you may not be aware of what fermentation is, at least when we're referring to it when we're talking about fiber. But that's actually what's really important when we are talking about how it impacts our pooping abilities, our excretion abilities, our dumping abilities, our, you get the point. So uh, fiber, let's say we consume fiber and fiber of course again can come in many different forms. Um, we don't just, on a food label you won't really be able to tell, oh this is insoluble, fermentable, etc., etc. It's just fiber dietary fiber. But you consume fiber and some of it is viscous, some of it is non-viscous. But what's really important, especially in this context, is is it fermentable? So if it is fermentable, then your body actually ferments it and translates it to what's called short chain fatty acids. I'll have a separate video on that. We can go over that at that point. But then there's also fiber that's non-fermentable. So it goes through your entire digestive tract, goes through your intestines, and then ends up at the point where it should be fermented, which should be in your intestines. And it can't be because it's not the proper structure. It doesn't have the proper characteristics to be fermented. So then what happens is actually it ends up picking and increasing the weight and the girth of your stool, of your poop. Yes, I know, we're talking about poop right now. We're talking about the characteristics of poop. But that is the point. So this fiber, because it can't be broken down, it can't be absorbed, it can't be digested, it just goes through your intestinal tract. And then what ends up happening is in your colon, then it just sticks there, it just stays there, and it kind of grabs onto or holds onto a bunch of different other things and essentially makes the bulk of your stool. So if you have uh, little pebble stools, then uh, taking in infermentable fiber can actually increase the size and the weight of that stool. And because the size and the weight of that stool increases, that actually leads your body to then excrete it more readily because there's more weight there that's going to end up leading to greater laxation. I'm trying to say this as scientific as possible so we're not sitting here giggling like schoolboys and schoolgirls. <laughs> but that's essentially how it works. It's non-fermentable, that particular type of fiber, non-fermentable, and then it increases the girth and the, and specifically, more specifically, what's more important is the weight of the actual stool itself. So, hopefully you found that informative. If you did, I would really appreciate if you subscribe down below uh, to the channel because of course I'm gonna keep putting out this kind of content. I know thrilling content, talk about poop. Um, and like and share the video. Hopefully I'll have the pleasure of seeing you in the next one. Have a great day, see ya.